In this video you will know what is experimental equipment and why is it stronger than bone equipment. Which specific tanks will become super strong when experimental equipment is installed on them. For what type of tanks is the experimental equipment developed? And which setup with experimental equipment will be strongest? Three facts about experimental equipment that not everyone knows and much more. If you are interested, let's go! Hi guys! It has been several months since experimental equipment appeared in our game, but until now, few people use it and few people understand how to use it correctly and even Fewer people know that if you put this equipment on some tanks, they will become the strongest in the game and you will be able to carry battles on these tanks better. What is experimental equipment and why it is unique? Usually equipment improves uh, one main characteristic of the tank, for example, accuracy, stabilization, speed or something else. Experimental equipment improves two main characteristics of the tank at, uh, at once. In simply words, uh, we have two equipments in one, but experimental equipment improves each of the characteristics by 10-15% less than normal equipment. And in my personal opinion, it is stronger than bone equipment. Yes, bone equipment has higher rates of vehicle characteristic improvements, bone equipment improves one main characteristic and experimental equipment improves two characteristics, but 10-15% weaker. In my opinion, it is better to have two, impro uh, two improved characteristics than one, but stronger by 10-15%. We currently have three types of experimental equipment. What two standard equipment? Unitas 1, Experimental 1. For example, Fire Control System are Enhanced Gun Lane Drive and Rotation Mechanism. Survival Improvement Suite Experimental Equipment is Hardening and Modified Configuration. And the Mobility Improvement System is a Turbocharger and Rotation Mechanism. Many players think then uh, that uh, they will put all three experimental equipment in three slots and they will be have six equipment in three slots and the tank will play it better, but it is not so. Now let's talk about ideal setup with experimental equipment. The strategy of uh, installing all three experimental equipment on um, one tank is not suitable for almost any tanks. Uh, if you want to get the maximum result from experimental equipment, you should put one or two maximum of experimental equipment and fill the other slot uh, with regular equipment. This is, this is due to the fact that almost no tank in the game needs the advantages uh, that all three pieces of equipment provide at once. But in, additional, in addition to your main normal equipment, uh, adding uh, one or two experimental ones is a very cool thing. Therefore, the ideal setup is one two experimental equipment and one two standard ones. Later in the video, I will give um, I will give for you examples for some tanks, and it will become more clear to you. There are three important chips that everyone should know about experimental equipment. First. Experimental fire control system equipment cannot be installed on tank destroyers. I don't know why, but the developers did it this way. It is simply physical impossible. Second, non, remember, non experimental equipment does not replace two standard equipment. Usually it replaces two equipment, but it is 10-15% weaker and standard uh, than standard equipment. For example, survival improvement suite gives you plus 9 plus 9% to your HP, and Bounty Hardening gives you plus 11%, that's 18% stronger. And you will notice this with everything experimental equipment. Experimental, it is weaker by 10-15%, but it strengthens two main characteristics on the tank at once, which is generally more powerful equipment. And third. Demount experimental equipment of the first class cost like demount standard equipment 10 gold. Demount the second class cost 50 components and demount the third class experimental equipments cost 100 components. 
Keep this in mind, most likely in the near future it will not be possible to remove it and put it on many tanks, you need to choose your favorite tank on which you will use the equipment. And lastly, you will usually only have an advantage when you put in a class 3 experimental equipment, only then will you really have an advantage over your opponents. Which tanks will become really strong after installing experimental equipment on them? There are two categories of tanks that experimental equipment will make stronger. The first category – tanks on which hardening and turbocharger are usually placed are very cool to replace these two equipment with survival improvement suite and mobility improvement system. Why? At first, they will have almost the same indicators of HP and engine power. In fact, they are not the same, they are 10-15% lower, but this is not a significant decrease. decrease. Secondly, in addition to this, the tank will have minus 6% to dispersion, plus 6% to turret travel, uh, travel speed, plus 6% to hull travel speed, and plus 100% to internal module durability, plus 15% to suspension durability, and plus 20% to suspension repair time. What vehicles is it suitable for? First, Super Conger. Uh, next, T110 E5. Uh, British TD uh, Badger, American TD T110 E3, and all tanks on which hardening and turbocharger are usually, usually placed. The second category of tanks that will become stronger after the installation of experimental equipment is the magazine loading system tanks. Why? Rammer is not put on this tank, but ventilation is usually put. Instead of ventilation, you can put any of the experimental equipment that you lack in this tank. This will usually be more useful than a fan. For example, on the T57 Heavy, you can install two experimental equipment at once, survival improvement suite and mobility improvement system, as well as stabilizer. After that, your tank will become really very strong. I'm using this setup now and it is really powerful. The same setup can be put on Kronwagen. On other tanks with a magazine loading system, instead of ventilation, you put what you lack. This also applies to medium and light uh, tanks and TDs with a magazine loading system as well. For example, the setup you see on the screen works very well on the super cool A-tier Burrasque tank. It gives this tank minus 50% to dispersion as well as plus 9% to aiming speed, aiming speed and if you, are, if you have played this tank, you know that's exactly what it needs. Well, guys, I hope that after this video you understood exactly how to use experimental equipment. You will be able to use it wisely and get more comfort and result from the game. If the video was useful, please like it and subscribe to my YouTube channel, this is the best reward for me. If you want to learn how to play better, also subscribe to my Twitch channel, where I challenge myself and try to show the game at the highest level. You can find the link to my Twitch below this video. Have a great time and see you in the next video.